Welcome to the lot. Hi, I'm Stu. I'm a backpacker from England, traveling around Southeast Asia. I'm currently in Vietnam and I arrived here in the lot no less than about half an hour ago. So I've checked into my hostel, which is really nice. And I'll have a quick check a bit later for you. Now I left Renee this morning, a bit later than what it should have been. The bus was delayed uh, about 10, 15. It's, it's taken five hours to get here on a sleeper bus. And as you can see, it's this is what we were surviving on for five hours. Uh, the we had a break halfway through because there is no toilet on board the bus but this is where I'm going to be for the next two nights and the lats the main reason I've come here is it is 1500 meters above sea level it's nice and cool and I've been told it gets even cooler at night which I am looking forward to wrap myself in a blanket oh it's so sweat quick history lesson on Dalat uh, it was built by the French as a resort town in the hills and it's probably one of the most popular tourist areas to go to within Vietnam not just for backpackers but for the Vietnam people as well they want to be cool as well but I'm just gonna have a wander around the streets see if there's anything that is worth seeing just to get a, a feel for the place see if I like it because even though I have only two nights there's a chance that I could stay longer who knows to give you an idea of the costumes of how to get here from Rini uh, I took the bus which cost me 11 pound 13 pence and that was booked through the app of want to go Asia now a word of warning about the bus itself and that is if you are over six foot then you're gonna find it hard to relax on a sleeping bus they're designed for uh, Asians Vietnam's oh that's loud um, so I was quite lucky because I'm short but I had a, a comfortable ride and as you leave the city and go through the countryside and up through the hills you get some spectacular views of the way up here now Dalat itself as you can see with the traffic it is a busy place and having looked at the map it is quite big and this place is not just a holiday place it's a honeymoon place as well so you get a lot of the local Vietnams going across up here on their honeymoon and this is me just trying to cross this road now because we are in the mountains there is a lot of outside activities to do and I've already had a look at some of the prices I can't afford it so my main day tomorrow is going to be spent on a bike and hire one of these scooters and then I'm just going to go around the whole place but this is a crazy busy place now I've already passed just around the corner from the hostel itself um, an Australian bar I'm not checking to see if there's an Irish bar or not so that you do get a lot of the westerners come here especially the backpackers what time is it now it's about half yeah, it's half past four now and already I'm starting to feel a bit chilly which I'm glad about because after so many months of sweating Nice to be uh, cold. Watching these roads and the way they're, they're driving, I'm, I'm a bit apprehensive about getting a bike out tomorrow. 
This is nearly as crazy as Saigon. Let me see if we can get wrong here. For first impressions of this place, and this is just me getting off the bus, driving through, then getting a grab taxi uh, to the hostel. Apart from the weather, which is so good, just nice and cool, and I'll say that about at least another 50 times. But it's spacious. There is a lot of cool things to do around here. And I'm only staying here for the two nights, mainly because of the fact with my uh, Vietnamese visa, which only lasts 45 days, which seems a lot. I think I've used about uh, three weeks of it already, just in the south. Which means I need to start moving if I want to see more of the country. It's a hard life. I've left the traffic behind, it's it's over there. It's just a bit bit crazy. And I'm just walking along I would say a river, but it's it leads into the reservoir which is in the centre of town, which is one of the places I passed on the way down here. And I'm gonna have a wonder there now. Ooh. Look at that. Was cool. <coughs> so this leads to the lake, I think, at the reservoir. As usual, I try not to look at my maps. This is usually not a good thing. I should know where I'm going to. But one of my things I do is I like to get lost and find new stuff. That river didn't smell too good. Uh. But I've only come back towards the traffic because the lake is down here. Oh wow. Birdies. Hello. I've got a clue what they are. And you find that when you're in Vietnam that yeah, a lot of places are just full of trash, rubbish. This place isn't too bad. Although you do still get some rubbish lying around. It's such a shame. And I think I'm heading towards the lake. Tomorrow, when I do get the bike, which I'm still contemplating, and I do go out and about, I will have all, all the facts and figures about this place at the tip of my fingers. So I'll be able to tell you all about it. And that'll be in the next video. Now, if you ever do come here and you go online to look for any hotels, guest house, hostels, there is so many, and I mean so many. Um, the hostel that I'm staying in is just, just Westerners. There's some British, some German, and, oh, there's a fountain with the roundabout. And I think the lake is just over there. So whatever your budget is for coming to a place like this, there is a very expensive resort, very cheap. In fact, I did find somewhere online, booking.com, there is a place you can stay here for two pounds a night, but it's a tent. I didn't fancy it. 
that's the end of the river and as I pan across there is the reservoir lake whatever you want to call it and that looks beautiful and there it is it looks a lot bigger than what I thought it was as I drove past it and you've got the little uh, pleasure boats that you can get on and go around wow and already you can see loads of people just going for a run like this guy behind me so this is probably the easiest place to do your fitness and that breeze is just beautiful. Oh, it's pretty shot me then. I've just been sat here watching the lake for the last five minutes, just going, isn't it pretty? And it looks like there's a lot of things happening down there, which I need to get a bike for. It's a little bit too far to walk, but just in that area there, there is seven hotels overlooking the lake. That's how many hotels you've got in this place when you've just got that amount in such a small space. But yeah, traffic is a little bit crazy. And all these people I've been seeing running around, they're just touching all the tourists. Don't think too happy about it. I like it. I quite like this place. <laughs> it's not in your face tourism, from what I can gather. Like you go to Saigon, you'll get hassled by people all the time. Uh, this place is just chilled. And tomorrow, the next video will be all about it. But I'm going to head back to the hostel and give you a quick show of where I'm staying for the night and how much it is. You do find that on roundabouts you get uh, some interesting statues, figurines and etc and this one's no different and that is trees made out to be a band. Now I was going to try and cross the road but it's now impossible. But there's, there's a woman in the centre there that don't know how she got across. That's quite impressive. I shall go across. Wish me luck. So I was just crossing the road, and this is nothing to do with me, but there's a young girl that's just fell off her bike. Um, bless her. I don't think she, she was hit by another vehicle, and already the traffic is building up on that. Oh, bless her. So track cross. Oh. You are literally taking your life in your hands, crossing the roads. I can't believe I made it. Wow. Just to see some uh, trees. But they look pretty. piano, band and people dancing. And that build up is still going on over there. It's so dangerous. In fact, to be honest, that is the first accident I've seen uh, in the whole of Vietnam since I've been here. Oh, it's a market. That's for tomorrow. That's for tomorrow. <coughs> the main reason for going back to the hostel was not just to, to show you what it's like, but it was also to put my stuff away and then go for some wheat. 
is because I've had nothing to eat since 8 o'clock this morning and I am hungry oh wow next bit I see one of these it's one of them hop on hop off buses that you get throughout the world so you can do oh that's worth doing instead of getting a bike I might check that out tonight on my my heavy research I've just checked it out 200,000 dong for 8 hours to go around the whole city hop on hop off when you want to history in your ear when you on the bus as you drive around uh, it's a bit more expensive than probably getting uh, a bike for the day so I don't know something to think about for tonight but anybody who comes here who fancies doing a tour it's cheap nearly at the hostel I've dodged a lot of traffic to get back up here and this is the street the hostel's in. Now when I chose this one from the multitude of hostels that there are in this city, this one had so many good reviews and more importantly, it's not a party hostel and it lists itself as a non-party hostel. And if you're at a party hostel, there are plenty around here so you've got a view of the city and that's where I'm staying you can just see the sign there the lap back back is Ali hostel it has got a rooftop let's have a wander in so this is the room my best base and I've already been told that uh, there's no aircon but it gets down to about 17 degrees on the night time that's cold well for me it is oh. toilet So that's a hostel, that's 150,000 dong a night. That is cheap. And like I said, I'm gonna be here for two nights and tomorrow is the full day of getting on a bike. I've decided I'm taking it. It's gonna be cheaper than getting the uh, hop on hop off bus. And I'm just gonna do everything I can do in the last. So, first impressions. As I've said already, I quite like it. It's quite nice. It's just, uh, as I said, it's not full on tourists in your face and then tomorrow I might change my mind who knows but with the sun going down my stomach is rumbling it's time for me to go so if you've enjoyed this insight to Dalat you've got to press that like button if you want to see what this place is like tomorrow press the subscribe button but until next time bye bye for now